Hi there, welcome back to Tyranny. Um, <laughs> this is maybe an unusual start, but we are just at the top of the Sunset Spire and we have looked about where to go now. What we definitely need is some money to upgrade our spires. You can upgrade the spires once you unlock them, which means when you um, go up there, you can you can hire some guys. We have hired, for example, a master smith and some guys collecting or making things for us, and we now want to proceed though with the, with the heart of the game, right? So let's go to the Iron Hearth if we can. Um, to do that. We might need to close this, and uh, yeah, let's let's have a look. Uh, this is the Sunset Spire and the giant forge we built there. So, um, where do we want to go now? Like we we should be able, I think, to go to the to the mountain spire. So, but I'm not I'm not sure how. So let's see. Should be able to go here. And then here. Could go instant travel here. <laughs> but it uh, it is not clear how. Let's see. Yeah, it's not clear how. At least to me. Uh, so... We'll just go down here to... Um, not the runic hall. We'll go to Lethian's Crossing, then leave and... Um, yeah, go to the disfavored camp, as that is what we should do. I think in the disfavored camp we'll also get uh, a lot of good prices, as the disfavored favor us and we favor them, because they are order and, um, yeah. <laughs> it's Judgment Day and we are the law, and we are for law and order, basically. So um, we tend to to give the disfavored an advantage over the other factions in the Cairo's realms. But let's see. Lithian's Crossing already was pretty interesting, and it may have changed our views a bit on the things, especially when hearing about the Bane, these magical creatures in the old walls, and the, the old walls themselves that we are just exploring right now. We have talked to Lantry a lot about the old walls, and... Um, they are a really fascinating place. Let's go to the Iron Hearth. Through the Iron Hall Trail. And what I expect here um, is we have pissed off some, <laughs> some mercenary factions. So they might attack us. I think we are prepared. But we have definitely pissed off the Bronze Brotherhood. And they might attack us now. Because they are actually going... Mm, they are guarding the Iron Hall Trail. Oh, <laughs> we are avoiding that. Look at that. We just teleported here. Very nice. Hey, come on. They are always assaults. Hey, and look at that. An, a new loading screen. That is... Uh, are these... I don't know. Are these rock formations? Or are these maybe um, parts of a giant skeleton? You could imagine that. Like with a... Spires going up here. Ooh. Strange wind is blowing. Hey there. Hey there, this favored camp. Oh, I look your look at that. I, I love the effects. It's really going well. Who are you guys? Iron walkers practicing. Stone shields. There's Ovinus. There's Fox Trick. There is some guys around here. <laughs> and there's something hidden. Wow. It's that light leather boots. Looks good. But not great. Let's find out what's secret here. And here we have a Aoja's calling. A two-handed sword. Uh, they have a preference for two-handed swords. And let's actually go to these guys here. And let's find out what's what's going on with them. Because there's a Scarlet Favored, a uh, Scarlet Chorus guy, talking to a disfavored guy. What may they have to talk? Let's talk to Fox Trick. 
Kind of you to stop and chat. I'm in a sticky situation. And no one in my gang is alive or around to help me out. Well, um, not surprising. So you're belonging to the Scarlet Chorus. Stop wasting the Fate Binder's time. He has better things to do than listen to some criminals mewling. Well, as much as I favor the disfavored, I'll be the judge of that. Tell me of your problem, soldier. Thanks for hearing me out. The disfavored aren't keen on conversation. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. It's impossible to get a word in edgewise. She glares at her captor. Soldiers caught me outside a breach in the old walls. That's it. I wasn't inside. I hadn't stuck my toe through the threshold. And I wasn't dancing with any bane. I have a healthy relationship with self-preservation. Um, then why were you arrested? You're only <laughs> hearing one side of the story, Fatebinder. Our scouts observed this wretch readying to enter the old walls. Her account is flawed. Her guilt witnessed by multiple trustworthy northerners. Soldier makes a point of standing extra straight when he addresses you. I'm sorry, is readying to enter the best you have? Because I could just as easily argue that you're readying to get knifed between your shoulder blades, but it doesn't count for shit until I see blood and bronze. I didn't go into the old walls. Case closed. Oh, all right. That is too complicated. I mean, they're, they're always guessing. Before I educate on this matter, I need your mutual cooperation. If you ask me, this prisoner has already been tried and sentenced. But if this little game will silence her caterwauling, then be my guest. I'll stand by your decision. It couldn't land me anywhere worse than this. All right, what were you doing outside of the old walls, fox trick? My gang went inside as I tried to tell the disfavored clots a hundred times over. I shouted myself raw, trying to get them back out, but the gang was having none of it. Interesting. And where would that be? Our leader discovered the breach and got himself excited over the chance of finding treasure. Try as I might, I couldn't talk him out of it. Uh, soldier, can you speak to this defense? I wasn't there, of course, but I'm familiar with the arrest record. There was no gang. Just a lone opportunist out to make a fortune breaking Kyrus' laws. The scouts could tell just by looking at her that she was headed for the breach. She's a fiery one. Put up quite a fight when they took her in custody. I have no reason to doubt the charges. So it's telling against telling. Hmm. Let's find out. So you had no interest in entering the old walls? Never. I grew up in the tears. Even we knew better than go inside the old walls, if not because of Kyrus' law, because the things lurking inside were like to eat us. Whatever you can find in the shadow of these ruins, it's not worth the risk. All right, um, so what was your gang doing in the old walls? Causing trouble, looting, no more or less than what gangs do. Our boss was obsessed with holding his position, which is healthy when you're in the Scarlet Chorus, when he came to the conclusion that the old walls might have some powerful artifacts. He resolved himself to find one at all costs. Funny to see a guy so wrapped up in survival trying to get himself killed. Typical behavior from someone who isn't confident in their leadership, says Wurz. Makes for a nice, self-fulfilling prophecy. Their own gang takes them down. See? She understands. Fox trick bows to Wurz. It's good that we have Wurz to get an insight, to, to have some neutrality, even with our preference for the law. So any idea where that, that gang is now? I never saw them make it out of the old walls, so either they did or they didn't. My money is on the latter. If they made it out, they aren't wasting their breath trying to find me, so fuck them. I like the attitude. If I had a mind to recruit, she would be my second or third. Alright, but you're not recruiting verse, and that is good. <laughs> hmm. We won't ask for money. Um, did your gang cause the breach in the old walls? What? Are you kidding me? It would either take incredible force or incredible magic to bash through that ancient barrier. We had neither at our disposal. Either one of Kyrus's edicts or some local mage caused the breach. Whatever ruling you make, don't pin that on me. Uh huh. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm ready to make my judgment. Because we won't find these guys, so. Let's have it then. I hope you got everything you needed. <coughs> huh. I 
I mean, we have to ignore both testimonies. So, um, if you weren't in the old walls, you weren't in the old walls. I'm not, like, these two things are favorable to anything, but we cannot be sure what happened there. She wasn't in there, so... At the very least, the if evidence is insufficient to prove the charges, so you're free to go. Yeah, and Tunon approves. But the day's favored don't. Shrewd, Fatebinder. Very shrewd. I think you'll do just fine. Technical, uh, legal technicalities are my favorite kind. Go rejoin the war effort with a new gang recruit. Start your own if you have a mind to. That's an order. Yes, ma'am. If you were gathering a force, I'd kill my way into your good graces. Pity I have to settle for less. Well, talk to the hand, O Venus. This goes against my orders and my reason, but I cannot argue the ruling of Tunon's agent. I'll let you go. Try and stay out of trouble. I'll stay out of the old walls, but that's all I can promise. Interesting stuff. So, oh, Verse can do something new. Uh, let's talk to her, though. Let's talk to her. Because she wants to talk anyway, so... Our gang is building quite a little collection of spires, aren't we? The voices of Nerat was never one for keeping strongholds, but I can definitely see the appeal. Uh, why doesn't he like strongholds? Because there's no point in standing still. <laughs> That's the, what the spires help you, not, not standing still. The voices prefers to keep his forces busy and on the move with the only restful hours between dusk and dawn. He's a madman, so we can understand that he wants that because he's a madman. He's crazy. Besides, fighters in motion are less likely to rise up and challenge authority, so he's also a coward. Safety in numbers, but once you get people hunkering down to discuss their problems, suddenly everyone has a reason to kill the closest gang boss. Um, what do you think of these spires? They're big, but make no mistake, a determined army couldn't knock one down if they got enough shovels and picks together. Don't be so quick to assume that you're invincible. Oh, I never were. As to what they are, I try not to ask those sorts of questions. And uh, what do you more need? questions, maybe? I'd like to discuss your apparent connection with Barik. You've just got to know, don't you? I suppose there's no point in hiding it. Barak and I are siblings, and we share a father, if, if little else. Oh, really? That's strange. They share a father. I try not to think too much about some northern merchant dropping anchor in my mother's port, but it happened. And the fortunate result stands proudly before you. All right, that's pretty interesting. How did you two become aware of this? There were a lot of lazy days during the conquest, and among other things, I spent my off hours using messenger birds as target practice. <laughs> you should have seen Ash's anger when he heard that was going on. Oh, One God day, worries. I snagged a bird that flew from the hands of a proud northern daddy. The missive was about the goings-on at the family farm. I recognized the name and handwriting from a note in my mother's belongings. There weren't too many people named Barrack in the army, so tracking him down was no challenge. I cornered him in camp, and we shared a few heated words. Some blackmail, even. Oh, very nice first she encounter. She tried to extort rings from me, and I was having none of it. Not even Graven Ash would think less of me for our father's indiscretion. I like oh, your confidence, but my ring belt is feeling a little light these days. Maybe you want to take me up on that offer, or... I can start whispering in disfavored ears. Think about it. Oh man, <laughs> do you even like each other? I've tried to get along with that ironclad knot of repression, but it would seem he's having none of it. Good riddance then. The war has tossed us together, but nothing says we have to keep that going. The most we do for each other is try not to get the other one killed, which is more than you can say for most disfavored and scarlet cores. Indeed, they are worse. Siblings, Verse will give you that. How this has this affected you, Barak? Well, Verse has a nasty habit of jabbering in my ear and making this war intolerable. I plan on parting ways and returning to the north at first convenience. My father will answer for his infidelity. <laughs> Beyond that, I am happy to consider myself in every way unaffected. 
My superiors once accused me of having an impulsive streak, but I have worked to suppress it at every turn. Very good. Discipline, Beric. Discipline. When you go back home, send father my fondest greetings and thanks. If he hadn't gone to ground on my mother's dry dock, I might not be here today. <laughs> oh, my. My heritage was a point of pride and distinction before I met you first. Not that you would care. Mm, and now you learn the truth. The truth can be hard to swallow, Beric. We need to stay with the truth. And the truth is always more valuable than things you don't know. Have you noticed any significant impact? Worse? I've asked myself about that several times, but unfortunately I don't have what you'd call a definitive answer. The Northerners put a lot of meaning behind family and blood. Seems arbitrary to me, but I don't want to discredit it entirely. There have been times when I acted strangely on the battlefield and could find no reason why, or gotten distracted and had thoughts I couldn't explain. I suppose there's no telling for sure, but if I had to guess... Yeah. Sometimes I get messed up in my head, and learning I had a brother has helped me understand that better. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so much for the mutual compliments. Let me ask you about something else, if we must. What do you need? Um, have you though you noticed that you fight particularly well together? I'm asking for that for role-playing reasons, but it might just that you get something bonus out of it. The thought has crossed my mind from time to time. During the many battles of the Conquest, we found ourselves standing back to back with enemies on all sides on more than one occasion. The big guy here is as useless as an empty scabbard without his phalanx to keep him alive, but I move fast enough to compensate for it. And it's nice having a living wall of rusted iron I can use for cover. Haha, <laughs> nice. Do you think this is because of your shared heritage? If you want to attach some arcane meaning to the whole thing, be my guest. I couldn't tell you for sure. I doubt that a capable tactician could explain why certain soldiers learn to rely on each other. In the disfavored ranks, oh. the Oathbound seem to know more about synchronizing their efforts. And the same could be argued for the Scarlet Furies. I don't know how they pair up their units, but it isn't by virtue of blood. Now, don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. You have a connection. You have that magical connection like Luke and... <laughs> Leon. <laughs> How do you think this is possible? I would suggest that our fighting styles complement each other, but they do not. I would suggest that we get along, but we do not. We don't even finish each other's sen sentences. <sighs> okay, that was strange. Did you hear that? <laughs> the next time I catch a whiff of Barrack's meaning, I'm keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> I, I want you two to train together, for the benefit of our troop. Absolutely not. Our fighting <laughs> styles are incompatible, and any disfavored lieutenant will tell you not to join at the hip soldiers who can't stomach each other. I'm inclined to agree. If you want to pair up fighters, there has to be some great passion or magnetism between them. We don't have it. Well, we'll use our subterfuge, our bluff. If neither of you is up to the challenge, then I won't force the matter. Now see here, Versus temperament <laughs> and unpredictable ways are an annoyance, but no challenge is beyond my skill. Verse, we should take some time to face off in the sparring fields. It might even improve our disposition towards one another. I'd rather watch you devour your armor one shaved off spoonful at a time. But since that isn't going to happen anytime soon, I... Suppose I'll make an effort. <laughs> I think this is absolutely great. <laughs> hey, we have the uh, arrow storm unlocked. Nice going. Arrow storm. <laughs> we'll have a look at this and uh, at the rest of the dis. No, we'll have a look at this now. At the rest of the disfavored camp, we'll we'll have a look at next time. Uh, come on, where are you? Arrow Storm, look at this. Death from above? No. This is the Arrow Storm. Worse fires several arrows into Barik's armor. When the last arrow strikes, Barik roars and the arrows burst out, striking enemies nearby. Oh, this is so strange. I love it. <laughs> so she activates him as a living bomb. I love that. Um, so thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. It's Judgment Day and we are the law. Let's see each other in the next episode when we... 
yeah, explore the disfavored camp, Iron Hearth, a lot more, and probably talk to Graven Ash at the end. Happy gaming to you. Uh, this is Emmanuel Can signing out. <laughs>